The very first time I ever invested in property, I bought a property for £3,500. Honestly, £3,500. I didn't have a clue what I was doing. I just thought, it's a bargain. I've got to buy it. Everybody's buying property, so should I. My name's Roy, and do you know what? That was a quite a long time ago. Didn't have a clue. I didn't even have the money to refurbish it. So what did I do? I held on to it, and I sold it, and doubled my money. Now then, you can do that, just like I did, okay? Or you can end up losing a lot of money. If you don't invest in property wisely and have some knowledge about why you want to invest in property, then it's likely you're going to end up losing a lot of money. And what will people say? I told you so. There's a lot of hype on social media and the internet and even YouTube, you know? Whatever platform you're watching this video on, Yet we all see the wonderful videos of people jet setting all over the world, having beautiful holidays, living in incredible houses, owning jets and all of this, Ferraris. And yes, it's possible, but trust me when I say to get to that stage takes a lot of hard work and effort and it takes time. Now, if, you're, if you want to get started in property, if you want to start investing in property as a beginner, the three fundamental things that you should consider before you even part with any money, okay, or go out and try and look for property to buy are these. Is it something, number one, is it something you really, really want to do? Have you got the passion to do it? Have you got the motivation to do it? And the resources to do it? Number two, have you got the time? That is really, really important. Have you got the time to invest in property? Because you know, if you're new to this, you don't want to just invest money into property and then stand back and, and think, yeah, I'm going to double my money, I'm going to make lots of money. It doesn't normally work like that. Unless you're willing to pay huge commissions for other people to do it for you. But then, as a beginner, why would you want to do that? Why not learn as much as you possibly can? Because the more you learn, the more, hopefully, better and more wise decisions you'll make. Um, and what will happen? You'll make more money. Now, number three, number three tip that I can give you is ask yourself why you want to do it, okay? What is your ultimate goal for investing in property as a beginner, okay? Is it because maybe you want to make lots of money? Is it maybe you want to secure a better education for your children? Maybe you want to secure a better future for yourself, maybe pension, maybe, you, you know, you're thinking about pensions. You want to buy a new house, you want to move house. You want a better car, you want a better lifestyle, you want more for your family. Okay? Maybe you're working full time now and you're thinking, do you know what, it's not enough, but I, I need more. Yeah, investing in property is a great way of doing that. But you need to ask yourself, why do I really want to do this? Write it down and then ask yourself five questions. What are your whys for investing in property? Because having that ultimate goal will drive you forward, okay, and give you clarity, okay, give you clarity as to why you want to do this and keep you motivated. The other type of, the other advice I would give you is this, is that try and find a means of way of educating yourself. Find a way whereby you can learn slowly but surely or as fast as you possibly can on how to invest in property as a beginner wisely. I've been involved in property for well over 30 years. Okay, when I, over 30 years, when I wanted to start my own business, okay, I didn't know what to do. I had no education of how to start business or I had no background. I remember my uncle telling me, Roy, if you want to start a business, think of demand. What do people need? Food? Wow, yes, they need food. Everybody needs to eat. One of the first businesses I ever started was opening the chain of food stores. Another thing he told me was hair. Become a hairdresser. Everybody needs their hair cut all the time. They'll always need the haircut. And I thought, yeah, but that's not really for me. But the food retail industry did sort of tick my boxes a little bit. Property. But it was property that I had a passion for, probably because my father was, has always been involved in property. He was a, you know, a, a structural engineer, 
civil engineer and so on. He, oh, it was just amazing the things, the company he worked for, what he built, amazing. And as a child, I used to sometimes go with him. And that's what I think gave me the motivation. The other motivation as I got older was I always wanted to build my own house. I did, and I did. I'm not saying it was easy, but can you see that was my goal, that was my why. But there are lots of different strategies that you need to be aware of. And whether they fit in for you, which strategy are you interested in? Is it flipping properties, renting properties? Is it commercial properties? Service accommodation, Airbnb, holiday lets, helping the homeless, yeah, working with the council, all these different strategies, okay, quite exciting, and they all they all offer something quite lucrative, but each and every one is slightly different. Each and every one of those strategies requires a little bit more effort, a little bit more knowledge on that particular strategy. Trying to learn it all at the same time can be overwhelming. And this is where, where people fail and make mistakes. And then what do they say? Well, their friends say, I told you so. And they blame it on property not being a, a scam. I always remember my grandmother telling me, and this is a very, very true story. When I was wanting to go in business, remember I said that earlier about my uncle saying, go into a food retail business, which is one of the first businesses I ever did go into. And my grandma was very wise and sadly she was terminally ill and we were sitting around the bedside and I remember talking and telling the family that I was buying a shop and a post office and, um, to serve the local community. And my grandmother just woke up out of where there was a deep sleep because she was terminally ill or coma and said don't do it. Can you imagine how I felt? I felt deflated, demoralized. My goodness, my grandmother's given me a sign. And, you know, that same day she passed away. Um, I was already in to buy in this post office. And the reason I bought the post office was because the post office guaranteed me a salary. I was given up a job working for somebody else and then becoming a postmaster uh, running a post office with a guaranteed income, but also the premises was so big I thought I could open a food store as well because everybody needs food and that business Succeeded and went on to bigger things But property fundamentally was always something I was incredibly interested in so can you see where I'm coming from? Okay, is having the knowledge and understanding the basic beginners knowledge on how to invest in property is crucial it really is. Now you can download a free PDF um, file if you like, whereby what I've shared with you today on the video goes a little bit more in depth, gives you some tips as to what you should do and what you shouldn't do. I always just download it. How many stories have you heard about people investing in cryptocurrency? Yeah, how many stories have you heard of people making tens of thousands of pounds on cryptocurrency? Millions! But what you never hear or rarely hear are the people who lose a lot of money. Just take this away with it as well, okay? My same uncle used to ha uh, love, okay, having a little gamble on the horses. And there were one or two occasions where he won a lot of money. But one thing he never told us was how much he lost. He never told us how much money he actually lost. Now, I don't know over time whether he ended up making lots of money, as opposed to losing money. I remember my great-grandfather, um, not my great-grandfather, my grandfather, he used to study the horses. And yeah, when they won, everybody talked about it, didn't they? Everybody praised and yeah, celebrated. And that's what social media is like, okay? People will praise and make things look glorious and wonderful, but at the end of the day, okay, it takes a lot of hard work, commitment, motivation, and that why. Why do you want to invest in property? So if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Okay, subscribe, give us a like, give us, share this video. Um, you'll see others popping up. Have a look at those just so that you can start investing in property as a beginner, safely, wisely, and hopefully profitably. <laughs> There's lots to learn and there's lots of videos where I give away lots of free stuff to help you get started. 
So until I see you on my next video, I will say ciao for now.